Well, g'day everybody. You can repair your car, you can repair your motorbike, you can repair your tank, you can even repair your aircraft, but can you repair your mech? This is my first look at mech or Mechanic Simulator. Uh, this is the demo that's available for free on Steam, so you can get it on there. And uh, in the tradition of uh, Mechanic Simulators, um, well, <laughs> I thought we would have a look at this one as well. We can do anything in Mechanic Simulator these days. Uh, so let's, uh, let's jump into a new game and check this out. Uh, I'm guessing that... Um, um, the, the mechanics license will allow you to gain reputation and have access to more complex jobs. Yep, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, this one should be relatively interesting as well. I haven't tried out Plane Mechanic Simulator and I haven't tried out uh, Tank uh, Mechanic Simulator either. But uh, maybe I will one day, you never know. But I find it really, You're really interesting. Here. Here Your we competitors go. were not as lucky as you are. And they are still sitting in their holes. And you got this gem. Intro. Okay, yes, we know that. All right, beautiful. All right, this is a, a little bit different to the uh, simulators that, to the mechanic simulators that we are used to. So you know how hard modern. it was to find this place? And unregistered mechanics are still being prosecuted by the authorities. Since you're operating in a somewhat gray area, they'll surely make me your partner in crime. Screw me apart and make me a blender or some other tool. Just be careful, okay? Okay, so intro. You might feel a bit lost at the beginning since this workshop is a few times larger than the hole you built me in. Once you've taken a look around, go to your um, office. All right, so it sounds like there's a little bit more of a storyline in this one. Uh, it sounds like we are uh, a, a, an underworld mech mechanic and uh, we aren't currently registered at the moment, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, what have we got there? We've got some uh, some awesome little posters, some pictures of some mechs and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a completely different workshop to what we're used to. So this is actually going to be interesting. This might be a really good um, spin on the Mechanic Simulator series. Um, look at that. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Okay, beautiful. Let's head Let's head into our office. What do we got? We've got storage and stuff up here. We've got some more stairs. Uh, some more pictures of mechs there. Okay, we can't really do anything there. It looks like we sleep here. This is pretty cool. I actually actually really like this. I really like it. Well done. Okay, we need to get an official license as soon as it's possible. Without it, no one will ever risk giving us a bigger job. All right, no worries. So how do we do that? Uh, with this handy PC, you'll have access to the job offers. Uh, I assume you've been in a workshop like this before, but I'm here to help you if you ever feel lost. We have... Do you want to continue the tutorial? Here you can see the list of all currently available job offers. With time and enough work, more of them should appear. Okay, so Simi should really uh, should really do the tutorial because he had he had no idea how to uh, uh, how to uh, open his PDA and all that type of stuff. So here's a list of all the currently available jobs. Yep. Okay, no worries. There's the legacy. Uh, this panel will let you view details of the selected job. Yep, no worries. The job description, what task you'll need. Yep, repair part. Let's accept that job. Let's try this again, eh? <laughs> All right, beautiful. You guys know me. You guys know me. Right, let's head to the assembly station to see what's wrong with our patient. This is where it is different. And uh, quite frankly, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty happy that uh, it is a little bit different. So and, we another need take. To find out what's damaged in the mech. To do that, we will use this station. But first, we need to clean the mech from all the dust and mud. Okay. How do we do that? Probably in this station. Cleaning. Uh, enter the cleaning mode by pressing the cleaning button. 
There we go. All right, uh, cleaning. By pressing and holding that, start the flow of water and move it around to clean the entire mech. You can rotate the device around the mech using the W, A, S, and D keys. <laughs> Look at that. Hey? Look at that. <laughs> He's got foam all over him. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. So that side is looking good. Let's move around to here. Give all this a bit of a clean off as well. Give that side a clean off. That's uh this is, yep. Quite happy about that. Beautiful. Cleaning is completed. Uh, it's cleaner than when it was assembled for the first time. Return to the assembly screen green and select the scanning option okay beautiful <clears throat> scanning here we go <gasps> check that out oh yeah oh yeah to find uh, damage parts you need to launch the scanner using the left mouse button and move the cursor around the mech parts the parts in question will become highlighted Next. Okay. Oh, Simi might have messed that up. Scanning. Simi has broken the game. Simi has broken the game. Okay, scanning is complete. So I've met, I, I broke the game. I broke the game, look, see. You can see all that sitting there. Scanning is complete. We've scanned. Uh, it doesn't give you any indication. You just run the scanner over the top of it. So uh, by scanning the mech, we find out how to fix it and finish the job. To open the list of tasks that need to be completed, press the tab. Return to the assembly screen now and press the assembly button. Okay, assembly. All right, let's, uh, let's try and get out of this. Let's close that. No, it won't. Okay, so I've definitely broken the game. Okay, here we go. Uh, this panel will let you select the mech modules you want to move to the workbenches. Modules highlighted in red are the ones you find a damaged part in during the scanning. Press the broken module and select one of the workbenches to move it there. There, and uh, we will move that to there. Uh, you will need to detach a few parts that are blocking the module. Aim your cursor at the blocking parts and remove them by holding the uh, left mouse button. Remember that you can only detach parts that are highlighted in green. Those that become red when targeted are blocked by other parts that need to be removed first. Okay. So we can move that. Uh, this part is held in place by screws. You'll need to remove them first. We can do that, we can do that, and remove that part, and off it goes, off it goes, right arm disconnected, beautiful. Uh, so I'm guessing that uh, everything else seems to be okay, so we can close that. Uh, let's head to the workbench and finally start fixing this machine. Close that, and we will, uh, hello? And the game has frozen. Simi has broken the game again. Simi has broken the game again. Hmm. Okay. Cannot move. Cannot move at all. By the sounds of it, that sounds like it might be. There is a rubber ducky. My daughter would absolutely love that. Ducky. Daddy. Daddy. Ducky. Ducky. Ducky Daddy? Yes, indeed. Do you want to continue the tutorial? Yes, we will continue the tutorial. Hopefully we won't break it this time. Doesn't look like we can go in here. I wonder whether there's uh, module expansions in here, whether you can expand your workshop. I'm guessing that the possibility is that you probably can. 
Uh, Egbert there is, uh, he's just wandering around doing stuff. He's looking a bit, uh, bit worse for wear. Let's go on to the computer. I'm assuming that these ones aren't military grade uh, mechs at, the, at this point in time until we start building our licenses up. Right, let's head to the assembly station to see what's wrong with our patient. Alright, down we go. Down we go, past our, uh, our beautiful view of this cyberpunk world in the future where the Rolling Stones are still doing concerts. <laughs> Excuse me, Egbert. Uh, here we go. Excellent. Okay, we can do that. Look at that. Wow, mechs. Massive. I'm, uh, I'm assuming this is an exploration mech. That's what I'm guessing. All right, so uh, here we go. Wear eye protection. He wears eye protection, but he, but he also is cool. <laughs> it looks like he has a moustache. Excellent. Love it. All right, in we go. Uh, to enter cleaning mode by pressing the cleaning button. Cleaning. Right, by pressing and holding the left mouse button, start the flow of water and move it around to clean the entire mech. You can rotate the device around the mech using W, A, S, and D. Let's do some, uh, bit of cleaning. There we go, clean that arm off. Clean your little handy handies. Clean your front bottom. Okay, down. Got that. Uh, can we move around? Yes, we move around that way. Let's clean all of this off as well. Okay, cleaning is complete. Uh, it's cleaner than when it was assembled for the first time. Return to the assembly screen and select the scanning option. Okay, how do we get out of this then? Okay, so uh, scanning. Alright, to find the damaged parts, you need to launch the scanner using the left mouse button. Check out how cool that is. Nice sounds too. And move the cursor around the mech. The parts in question will become highlighted. Scanning is complete. There we go. It looks like there's some wiring there done. Next. Okay, yes, scanning is complete. Okay, uh, assemble. All right, so we're going to need to remove this. It's not giving us uh, it's not giving us uh, um, the tutorial at this point in time, which it did last time. So we've got to take this arm off. We've got to repair something in here. But we've got to take this arm off. So we need to select a workbench that we are going to place that arm on, which will be there. Yeah, the the uh, parts that the parts that we need to take off are highlighted. So to remove the arm, we need to remove all of this armor and stuff. Anything that's highlighted in green can be taken off, like that. These ones here need to have screws removed. I don't know why it stopped doing the tutorial. And there goes the arm, and this is where it broke last time. Right arm disconnected. Close. Close. And this is where it broke. All right. So what it's done is it is uh, it has stopped us from um, it has stopped us from going any further for some reason. I don't know why it it, it there was there wasn't anything else that was highlighted that was broken, but uh, I got I, I froze here the last time that I did this tutorial as well, and I can't seem to get past this point. So. Oh, is that a good thing for a demo? I'm hitting everything. I'm hitting tab. I'm hitting escape. I'm hitting left and, mount and right mouse button. I'm hitting enter. I'm trying W, A, S and D to move. I'm hitting number keys. I'm hitting other stuff. I can't even, and I had to actually uh, control alt delete this as well to get out of the game. So it looks like I am stuck here uh, at this point again. Is this I a... could have been an accountant or a lion tamer. Yeah, okay, great. That's that's really good, but um, if we can't move, then you can be whatever you want because you're just going to rust here without any maintenance, dude. Egbert. Um, is this good for a demo? Is this good for a game demo? This game looks like it has a lot of potential and a lot of fun stuff to do in it. Working on mechs, working up to bigger mechs, perhaps even military mechs and stuff like that. But, hmm, 
if I keep jamming here and keep freezing here and I can't do anything, um, then that is actually going to be a little bit of a problem in giving me a really good, and you guys, a really good example of, um, of what the game's about. Let's hope that uh, if they do... Um, if they do work on this game further, um, that we uh, that uh, <laughs> that the game itself, when it is released, is not like this, not like the demo. But uh, I certainly, as a game company, wouldn't be releasing a demo that uh, that continually breaks. And this is about the fifth time that I've broken this game in different areas as well. This demo, so um, I actually I might put the whole lot in. I think I might put the whole lot in. That's what I probably should do. Yeah. Put it all in. Yeah, I might do that. But uh, look, guys, I mean, you know, it has it has the possibility. It, it it's it's a little bit different to the other um, to the other mechanic simulator games, uh, in the sense that we're actually working in the future and we are working on mechs. Whether they get the game right, if they can't get the demo right, I can't answer that. But uh, listen, guys, if you like this one, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. And uh, I apologize that I can't show you any more. I am going to release this. And the reason why I am going to release this is so that you guys, I don't know, so you can see. Yeah, I guess, you know, if you're going to send out a broken demo, then uh, that should be highlighted, shouldn't it? So... Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.